Michelle Contreras, I'm a drama major and I'm a member of Dialogues for Democracy. Midterm elections are coming up November 6, 2018. Midterm elections are general, local, county, and statewide elections. The federal and local offices up for election include U.S. Congress, U.S. House of Representatives, U.S. Senate, and state governor. Midterm elections are really important elections. Are you registered to vote? If not, register today. Your vote is your voice. Hi, my name is Damiana Jimenez. I'm a religious studies major at Miami-Dade College and a member of Dialogues for Democracy. Midterm elections are coming up November 6, 2018. This midterm election, we will be voting in a new governor. What is the role of the governor? The governor heads the government's executive branch of each state or territory. Some of the responsibilities include appointing officials such as judges and power over legislation and budgeting. For more information on the candidates and their parties, go to ballotpedia.org. Hi, my name is Gianfranco Pupio, and I'm a student of political science and a member of Dialogues for Democracy. The midterm elections are in November 6, 2018. During the midterm elections, we're going to be voting for the U.S. Senators. Let's talk about the United States Senate. The United States Senate is formed by 100 members. Each state elects two of the members to go and represent them in Congress. It doesn't matter if it's a big state like Florida or a small state like Hawaii. They all get equal representation in the U.S. Congress. Each senator is elected for six years and there's no term limit. Elections for senators are especially designed so one third of the Senate is elected every two years. For more information about candidates and parties, you can go to ballotpedia.org. Don't forget to vote. Your vote is your voice. Be heard. My name is Paulina Basurto. I'm an international student at Miami-Dade College, and I'm the treasurer of Dialogues for Democracy. Did you know that the midterm elections are coming up on November 6, 2018? Part of the U.S. midterm elections is voting for the U.S. House of Representatives. What is the U.S. House of Representatives? The U.S. House and the Senate make up what you know as the Congress. The U.S. House is made of certain number of representatives, depending on the population of each state. For example, here in Florida, we have 27 representatives. For more information about the candidates and their district, please visit ballotpedia.org. My name is Camila Esposito, and I'm a journalism major at Miami-Dade College and also a member of Dialogues for Democracy. Do you know that midterm elections are coming up on November 6 of 2018? In this midterm election, we will be voting for the Florida State Senate. State senators are responsible for representing their constituents in each district. Right now, in Florida, only half of the state senate is going up for election, which means 20 seats. For more information about candidates and their parties, go to ballotpedia.org. Hi, my name is Camille Mota. I'm a bachelor's student at Miami Lee College and I am a member of Dialogues for Democracy. Midterm elections are coming up on November 6, 2018. In the midterm elections, we will be voting for the Florida House of Representatives. The Florida House is authorized by the Florida Constitution to create and amend laws of the U.S. state of Florida. So what is the Florida House of Representatives? These are the people that create and change the laws that affect the citizens of the state of Florida on a daily basis. During this midterm election, all 120 seats of the Florida House are up for election. For more information about the candidates and their parties, go to ballotpedia.org. 